Hello everyone, PlayShark here. I want to thank Zalon for making me aware of this, because I didn't know. Because I don't typically ch check the calendar very often. So they actually put a lot of stuff in advance. Very appreciated. Thank you so much, developers. We really appreciate this. So let's go through this. Uh, the Relic War, which is currently active. Um, it's a temple thing. It costs gems. Uh, I'm not really going to be doing it because obviously I'm free to play, so I want to save my gems for other stuff. We've got Assault. I'm going to try to do Assault and finish it because I really need the stuff from it. Uh, after that, this weekend, we have Necrosa coming back. So Necrosa, a Divine Titan, is now going to be available from an event. Cool. So, the week after that, we got True Craft, not very important to me, a Solo War, and eh, the Relic's probably not going to be that important either. I don't know until I see the Relic's uh, stats, but for me personally, I don't really do Solo Wars unless I need to. Uh, and then we got another Alliance War, Life Spark. So, I think personally, I'm not going to be doing these events that much, so I'll be saving up as much as I can. Then we got March, the first week of March, we got Kingdom Rush, very useful. Uh, Titans Unleashed, so a Titan Fusion event, okay. Uh, and then we got the Years of War, which brings back Ur Urukon, no wait, sorry, Urkon, and um, Aurea. And then we have Ares event, now, hmm. This is going to be a tough one. I don't know if I should do this Ares event or not. Because if they bring back the Lameon Pelts, I really need those because I don't have them. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, then we got... We, after that, we got Construction Frenzy and Conquest. That's going to be cool. And then the Valkyrie Reborn. Finish Plus. Now... Valkyrie Reborn. There's there's two things I can think of. One, Valkyrie is going to be reskilled. Maybe. Two, they may put a Guardian five star relic in it. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Just putting out a wild guess. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see what that will be all about. The week after that, we got. Spellcraft, not very important to me. Um, temple Festival. So it's another temple thing where you got Dragon Slayers. So it is the end, okay. Uh, and then we have Assault and Alliance Ward, the Living Shadow. So this is going to be very interesting, very interesting. Um, I look forward to see what we do, you know. So pretty much, let me go back. We have one. No, I'm not going to include this week. So this week is up to the Necrosa. So I got one, two, three, four weeks. Four weeks from now, the Alliance War of the Living Shadow. And I, I believe that will be the start of our next meta. That's my guess. Now, I don't know if they're going to try to blend it into our current meta. So that it's, you know, it's meta. But not so OP that it resets the meta. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. So pretty much, we got, what, five weeks worth? Yeah, five weeks of events. Thank you, you know. Yeah, it's very useful, very good for planning out. Um, I'm definitely hoping I could save up enough gems that I can do the Aries event and uh, the... I don't know, because I'm thinking about the Valkyrie, though. Because Valkyrie is by far one of my favorite divine, er, designed Titans. Um, so I think I'm going to save out to that. I don't know. Who knows? If they do Ares event and they put Staff of Rage, that would be 
like, um, by far, <laughs> I have to do that event kind of thing, but, um, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, uh, definitely gonna look really good, so yeah, so, the Valkyrie Reborn, I'm hoping it's reskilled Valkyrie, because that's what it sounds like, and Valkyrie is, back in the day when she first came out, she was really cool, really tough to beat, because she had, uh, defensive spearmen and offensive grenadiers, and it was a pain to get through. You had to try to take out the grenadiers first, and then somehow deal with the spearmen. So, hmm. It's gonna be interesting. I'm interesting. Are we going to see that the Alliance War of the Living Shadow? Is that going to be that necromancer that we've seen leaked? Who knows? We're definitely going to see something pretty cool. So, that, this is, now you know what's coming up. Let's look forward to it, you know. I do very much appreciate the de developers uh, putting out so much stuff in advance. We totally appreciate it. So thank you very much. Uh, and, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So we got two assaults. And an alliance war in the next, uh, the assault actually starts tomorrow. Okay, so the assault starts tomorrow, uh, and then we got conquest later and another assault. This is going to be pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to this, uh, and hopefully everyone have a good day. Let me know what you're going to be doing, and have a good one.